beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. This video acts as an update to this Solera Sal Beer project and will bring you up to date with my activities this year along with a tasting of the 2022 Sal Beer that results from it. So let's get started. Firstly, let's take a quick summary of what has happened so far. This Solera Fooder project started in early 2021 with a Saison filling the Fooder. A one keg batch was then removed from the Fooder and a beer that was Kettle Sal with Wild Brew Helveticus replaced it along with two types of Lacto, Vosquake and two types of Brett as detailed in part 3 of this series. I then took a keg's worth of this mix for summer 2021 which was detailed in part 4 and replaced it with a variation of the recipe but this time fermentation and souring took place with Philly Sour Yeast. Let's now look at my recipe and process for 2022. Naturally this recipe can be used for a sour beer that is not part of a Solera mix too. The full recipe is shared within this video's description along with a link to the recipe on Brewfather. This recipe is the same as I have previously brewed and explained, so really needs no further explanation. Only in saying that this has been working very well so far and is a common grain bill for a golden sour beer. After the mash and sponge I boiled for 10 minutes and then cooled the wort down ready for kettle souring. I used Lalamon's Wild Brew Sour Pitch this time and covered with cling film for protection. I had the Brazilla Gen 435 litre system at 10% heating power to maintain a kettle souring temperature of 35 degrees Celsius, which worked well, with the process finishing at a pH of 3.5 within two days. Here is how things looked after this process. It was then time to go to the full boil stage which I did at a modern boil time of 30 minutes with the only hop addition being added at the start of the boil. For this I used sars which whilst not really being known as a bittering hop works very well all the same despite being less aggressive when compared to typical workhorse bittering hops with higher alpha acids. It's only just over 11 IBUs and not much in the way of hops but feel free to substitute this for something else noble like magnum if you wish. After the brew I then cooled down the wort to yeast pitching temperatures. Once at 30 degrees Celsius I then pitched one sachet of Vosquake and held this temperature in the brewing system for fermentation. If this is something that you have never done before, do not worry, it works very well and I have done this many times now without issue. For me it makes transfer into my fooder at the end much easier as I can simply use the brewing system's pump for transfer. During the fermentation I simply cover the brewing system with a clean towel to keep insects out and use the wrapped pill floating hydrometer for gravity updates. Here is a look at the Solera Sour Beer for summer 2022. This beer has been in the keg for about 3 weeks at this point at an average temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, which is the equivalent of 41 degrees Fahrenheit. This has been under 12 psi of pressure, which is 0.83 bars for this time, and I'm also using this pressure for serving too. No attempts have been made to clear this beer, but naturally it has been settled in my fooder for over a year, so it has a plenty of time to clear. My tasting notes are as follows. The aroma here is very fresh and fruity along with a citrus element and a sour twang coming through that has a pineapple twist to it. Flavour. On entry this is very fruity with apple, cherry and pineapple leading the way with a definite level of funk that adds to the complexity. The finish is sour of course and very refreshing and is carried by extra pineapple. The changes experienced in this beer since last summer are somewhat staggering. There is certainly more of everything, but the main changes are certainly fruit driven. I have to say that I am delighted by the results so far, and did not expect this to develop as quickly as it has. My final impressions of this beer are as follows. This is a complex mixed fermentation sour beer that I look forward to seeing how it will develop each year. Its flavours are simply unique, and that is the great thing about a Solara beer project like this. If, like me, you enjoy certain sour beers, this is a great way to go for a living project that just keeps getting better every year. Certainly I would love to hear from any of you that have tried this to hear of the results that you have experienced yourself so far too. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!